Again, this is Antoinette Hunter. Welcome to Amazing Growth. Thank you guys for joining me on my next activity with prepositioned. Prepositions are skills that kids need as they excel in life. You guys all know it's understanding positions and place value. So today I'm going to talk about that and I'm also going to have a session. So please do not move from where you are. Stay tuned with me until the end of the activity because I have so much to tell you guys and so much to show you guys today. But before we go any further, do not forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. I really need your help and your support because in order for me to stay on this channel, I need your support. I cannot do it without you guys. So please, again, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button with the thumbs up. Now, you might not be able to comment on my channel. However, you can always reach me at info at amazinggrowth.net. That's my email address, info at amazinggrowth.net. So let's continue our discussion on preposition. Preposition is teaching children to understand where things are supposed to go in terms of understanding the right place where you should put them. I will give you some example of it. For example, um, placing object in, out, over, on top, and underneath. Now, even though I'm talking or we're discussing about um, I'm working on preposition, the children are also going to be able to learn their colors, their numbers, the animal names and sounds. I wanna make it very interesting where it's not boring because working with children, you can be very boring, you can be cold, you have to get into their world. And this preposition activity is going to help them to engage and to make connections and be able to sit in the activity for the duration of time, even if the child is very mobile. You wanna use your body movement to practice by making the activity fun. So how are you going to use your body to practice by making the activity fun? This is what you're going to do. You're going to have the child put your hands on your eye. Let's play peekaboo. Peekaboo, yay! Now let's play the Simon Says game. You're doing that because you want the child to be able to follow directions. So Simon Says, put the cow in the box. Remember, you have to assist the child in performing the various preposition. For example, when you say put the cow in the box, you wanna help the child to put the cow in the box and you say your turn. Hey, where is the cow? Put the cow under the box. You wanna put the cow yourself under the box. If they don't understand so that way you can model it. You always have to make sure it has to be based on the child development. Meaning, if the child is not ready, you don't want to use too many words. You want to break down your words. So break down your words. If they're able to um, respond to questions, you want to ask them a question like, ask them a question, for example, where is the dog? Is the dog on the couch or under the box? You're giving them choices for an object that is not there and comparing it with an object that you literally have in front of you. So you will have the cow in the box or on the box. So you will have the cow in the box or under the box, depending on how or any of the objects. It doesn't have to be a cow. I'm just giving you as an example. It could be a spoon that you have in your house. It could be a bowl that you're hiding something under. But whatever instruction that you're giving them with preposition, you have to be very clear. If you say, okay, put the cow or put the spoon under the bowl, make sure that that bowl you can actually put the spoon under and say, look, I have it under. Your turn or have another one and say, you do. So that way the child understand what you're saying. You're modeling the skills to the child and at the same time, you're, um, you're working with the child hand on hand. If they're not able to do it, always remember to use a hand over hand technique to 
perform the preposition that you are trying to do or to get the child to understand what you are trying to say. Questions, all your questions should be based, based on the development of the child and his or her developmental understanding or his or her developmental level of understanding is very important. You want to incorporate songs if the child likes songs. Sometimes if you're dealing with a child that doesn't like songs, some kids with autism don't like to hear certain sounds. So if you're singing a song to them and you know they're not really gravitating to what song is irritating them, then you want to take the song out of it and we'll go over that. We'll I'll go over songs and stuff like that in one of my other activity. But most of the time, the kids love songs. So you can say, um, the cow is under the barn. The cow is under the barn. How you're the, how you're the merry, oh, the cow is under the barn. I usually create a lot of songs that doesn't even exist. This one actually is one of those songs that is there, but people sing it different ways. Any way that you can use to model the activity or the skills that you're trying to, to the goals that you're trying to achieve with that child, it will help the child to understand what you're doing. You can say, oh, wow, look, the cow is under the barn. And then you sing the song and you go ahead and just sing the song. So I'm just giving you um, just a brief understanding on the importance of preposition. When kids learn preposition, it, it makes life so much easier. They're able to follow directions. When you ask them to follow directions, they're able to give you things when you say, oh, can you look for the ball under the chair? They're able to go under the chair and grab the ball. And... Um, Whatever you ask them, it could be chores in the house where you say, okay, can you put everything on top of the counter? They'll understand the preposition of where top is and where bottom is, but these skills has to be developed over time. You have to use very, um, very fun and skillful technique to get them to understand preposition. Oh, thank you guys so much again. I want to hear your input. I want to know how you feel about the activity. What do you think I need to do? How can I get better? How can I reach out to you? What are some of the things that you're interested in? Is there any video you would like me to make? Just let me know and I will see how many people are interested in the video and I can come up. Or if you have any private question or personal question you would like to ask me, feel free to um, email me info at amazinggrowth.net. Again, you can email me at info at amazinggrowth.net. My name is Antoinette Hunter. I'm always delighted to assist you. I'm always here for you. I'm always willing to help to the best of my ability. So if I don't get to you on a timely manner, please do not get upset and get a little bit frustrated. I am going to reach out to you. Thank you. And come on, let's go into my next session. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. We're gonna play together. So today, Amira, we're going to play with this and we're going to play with this together. It's gonna be a surprise. This is Bubbles and we have our friends here coming to Old McDonald's Farm. I want this one. We, you want this one? Well, we can play with that together. But remember, what is rules number one? Ear listening. Are you sure? Is it ear listening or eyes watching? I watch it. Okay, Amira, sit. Sit, now we're gonna cover you up. Okay, so you keep yourself really nice, right? Keep yourself very nice. You gotta keep your body calm, right? Body calm. calm. Very good. I feel very Yeah. Oh. So we're gonna do open shut them? Open, open shut them. Open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Creeping. Creepy, Charlie, creepy. Put them on your lap, lap, lap. Oh, Bang! let's open it. Let's open it. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow, we have our barns. Yeah, we're talking about building in the classroom. I'm so tired. Animals. You, yeah, animals. You like animals. So we have, you think we have animals in the barns? Yeah. Okay, so you get to pick. Wait, remember body, body calm, right? Body calm. Good job. Amira, 
I like when I said body calm, you listen and you calm your body down. That was very good. Let's see which one. I'm going to give you a choice. So we have one, we have the number one red barn and we have the purple. Number five is the purple. Which one? This one or this one? Only one. Only one. This one. Which one? You have to choose one. You have to point to one. You want this one or this one? This one. Okay, I'll make a choice for you. So you want this one, the red one? Yeah. You want the red or you want the purple? You want the red? Let me see. Red, red or purple? This one. Red. Very good. You want the red? Oh, wow! You need to pick a boo. Open. Pick a boo. Pick a boo. Cut your eyes. I see you. Uh oh. What's that? Cow. Ooh, it's a cow. Oh, McDonald's had a farm. Eia, eia, yo. And on the farm he had a cow. Eia, eia, yo. And the moo, moo here. Moo, cow go in. Now let's go. What about this one? The purple and the green. Which one would you like? This one. Purple, you want the purple? Yeah. Okay, you're not watching the purple ice. But you do ice watching. I watch Number it. five. Wait, pick a boo. Pick a boo. Yay, let's open and see what's inside. Oh, a ducky. It's a duck. Quack, 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 ducky. I Yay. I Good job. Go in, duck. Nice. You have a ducky? Yeah. Yeah. Now let's see this one. Let's see what's in here. You put in. You close it. And good night, ducky. Good night. Now let's see. I have the blue and the green. Which green. One? Green. Very good. What number is on the green? Three. 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 How many dots? One, two, two three. three. For number three. Now let's do pick a bowl. Pick a bowl. What's inside? What's this? Horse. It's a horse. And then what about this two? We have the orange. Uh oh, you're not ready yet, Nick. Nick, go to sleep. Our orange. Orange. Where's the orange? Orange. Orange. Good peekaboo. Peekaboo. I see it. Yeah. It's a pig. Oink, oink, oink. The pig goes in the orange barn. Oh, I'm shaking this one. I wonder what's in there. Let me shake, 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 shake. Peekaboo. A goat. What? Amira. <laughs> what is that? Goat. It's a goat. Oh. Let me see. Is that a goat? <laughs> Silly you. That's a puppy. That's a dog. Ruff, ruff. Indoor voice. Look, I have the barn here. Open, open in. Wow, Amira, I have a friend. I want to join us. I want to move back because I want to want to fit. How are your friends? Let me see. Oh, who wants to go to the barn? Oh. Ah, is, is this a rabbit? Yeah. Let's see if the rabbit, the rabbit. Wait, remember, see, see ears, ears. What? Ears. And listening. Ears listening. Rule says body calm, ears listening, and eyes watching. So when Miss Hunter said don't touch, you don't touch, right? Miss Hunter said don't touch, you watch, you follow directions. I'm gonna spin it again. Let's see where it's going. Bunny! <laughs> Remember what Miss Hunter said? Go to Amira. <laughs> Go to Amira. It's and frightened. It, What's the bunny holding? Is that a carrot? Is it yeah. happy? It's good for Yes. Okay, bunny, you want to go to a mirror? Yeah. Okay, go to a mirror. Ah! I'm good to a mirror. Oh, good job. Go to a mirror. Oh, now you can pick it up. High five. That was again, very good. Again. Do you want to do it again? Okay, so let's see what, let's play Simon Says game. Simon Says, open the barn. 
Good job, you're listening. Go ahead, open all of them. Oh, all of them. Simon says open, open, open. Good job, Simon says open, open. Simon says open, open. Good job. Simon says open. Forgot one more. Good job, good listening, high five. I like when I say Simon says open, you listen to Simon. So I get to give you the bunny to come to Amira. Bunny goes to Amira. Bunny goes to Amira. Amira was listening. Bunny goes to Amira. Bunny goes to Amira. Bunny goes to Amira. Go to Amira. Can you hug Bunny? Give Bunny hug. Bunny came to you. Thank you. Can I have my bunny? I like when I said to Amira, open the barn. Amira listened to Miss Hunter and open everything. Okay, Amira, wait. Wait, not yet. Amira, take out the horse. Horsey, out horsey, out horsey. Uh-oh. Amira, out like this. I'm going to take out horsey. Now you do. You take out horsey. Out. Out. Good job. Out. Out donkey, out, out, good job, out cow, out cow, very good, out pig, out pig, out doggy, that's a dog, yeah. you, you have to put out, Amira did a great job, you want to go, maybe this time I can bring someone else, Maybe we can have the drama boy, the, the symbol boy to help you out. And cheers for Amira was listening. Oh, go to Amira. Hey, stop it. Happy coming to Amira. Ah, go to Amira. Oh, stop in the symbol. You see how he's happy? Oh, Amira is saying good job, good job, good job, good job. Good job in the symbol, right? Okay. This is a nice music for Amira. Amira was listening. Okay, Amira, let's turn, let's put um, the barn over the animals. Put it over it. Under, it goes under. Go, go under. Under, you hide it. Ah, let's see what's inside. Go under, under, underneath. Put it under, under. Are you hiding? Oh, wow! Amira, you did another great job. This time, I am going to get the bubble machine ready for Amira. Because Amira is going to pop, pop, pop the bubbles. Ah, Amira is so listening. I like when you listen. Miss Hunter said, Amira, put all the animals in the barn. You listen and you turn them over too. And you are, they are hiding. They are underneath. I will try it. You want to try it? But let me see if it works first. Okay, Amira, let's open it. Let's take it. Where is where 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 where? where? Let's let's get and see. Where is the dog? Where is the pig? Where is the horse? Yeah! Good guessing game. That's the horse in there. Where? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, not yet. Don't cheat. Where is the Where is the duck? Good job! Good job! We get to pop the bubbles again. You ready to pop the bubbles? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pop, 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 pop. Look, the bubbles. The bubbles are over there. Pop the bubbles. Pop the bubbles. Uh oh, oh, oh. Come this way. Come on. Come on. Come see them. Amira, come. Amira, come this way. Come on, help. This way, this way. Pop, 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 pop. Where's your pointer? Okay, now let's do another one. Okay, now you have to listen. More, more, let's do more. Sit down. Now get all the bars, we're gonna get more. But first, we have to follow the directions, remember? 
ears listening. Now I have, we have to place them with the barn in front of you. The cow went over, over. Let's put, let Amira, I'm going to make this cow jump over the blue barn. Jump, bam! Good job. Now you try, jump over. Good job. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Jump over, cow. This is cow now. Jump over, over. Jump over, pig. Over, jump over, over. Jump over. You want more bubbles? Uh -huh. I'll try it. More bubbles. More bubbles. Okay. Pop, pop. Amira, like this. We can pop, pop, pop. We have points. Very good. More bubbles. Pop, pop, pop. Amira, pop, 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 pop. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger. Tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up. Put your finger down. Put it on your head. Head. Okay, so you sit down. I like to pop. You like to pop? I like the way you're popping. You're ready for me again, Amira? Okay, so let's finish this first. Now we're going to put all of that. Uh, let's put the. I'm going to put the horse in between, Amira. Body calm. Okay, you put the pig in between. Okay. Good job. Okay, you put the cow in between anywhere. Good job. Can you put the dog in between? Yes. Okay, that's a duck. Can you put the dog? That's beautiful out. Yeah. Can you put um uh, the dog in front of the orange barn? Yeah. Where's the front? Right here. This is in front. Good job. Can you put the dog mm. on top of the orange barn? You go on top. On top. On top. On the top. On top. Yay! Now, which one would you like? This one or this one? This one. This one. The bunny. You want the bunny to hop? Okay. Yeah, that's the symbol right there. Okay, you're gonna go to Amira. I want you to go to Amira because Amira is listening. Go, Amira. Ah, go to Amira. Go to Amira. Go to Amira. Oh, Amira. Give, give Bunny her. Mm, the Bunny wants to give you carrots because you're being such a good listener. When you follow all the directions I ask you to follow. Well, can I keep this for now? Now, Amira, one more, one more, one more. Now, the next thing we're going to do. One more, my room. One more, let's do one more and then we close up. Then we go bye bye, right? Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's put it next to. Can we put, the, can we put it next to? Put all the animals next to the barn. Let's put, look. I'm going to put it next to the barn. Good night. Good night, barn. Let's try this one. Look, I'm putting mine. The pig is next to the barn. Bye bye. Bye bye. We're all done now. I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna go bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah.